Welcome to Death Valley. Today I present to you all of my adversaries. From WrestleMania to other events, this rumble will showcase the wrestlers that I have had conflict with. May they all rest in peace. You cannot forget Undertaker that Paul Bearer will be inside this rumble. And the Berserker will not huss, huss. What is going on, YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another Royal Rumble. And today, people, man, we are going to be featuring the opponents that The Undertaker fought at WrestleMania. But also, we are going to be featuring some of the opponents that he had major feuds with as well. Because I had to round up the whole roster to 30 so here we go everything's randomized look who's coming in at one <laughs> it's giant gonzalez rolling in at one and um yeah like i said the undertaker fought what how many times was it at wrestlemania was it 25 or 26 times man i think it was 25 times but he fought Shawn michaels twice triple h twice kane twice so I had to dig deep to get some guys that feuded with him to round out the roster, like I said. But leading things off is the massive giant in Giant Gonzalez. Look at this guy. He is so big, man. He is absolutely huge. And the feud was born with Giant Gonzalez and The Undertaker way back in 1993, the Royal Rumble, where Giant Gonzalez eliminated The Undertaker. And then, holy smokes, man, they ended up facing each other at WrestleMania, and The Undertaker won, spoiler alert if you didn't know, by disqualification. They ended up ending their dreadful feud at SummerSlam when the dead man, he, holy cow, man, he won in a rest a in peace match, and that was that, man. They the didn't uh, go back to this feud ever again. But let's see how the big man does. Look at him towering over that top rope. This guy is just so big. What is wrong with his right eye, though? It looks like <laughs> there's something wrong with his right eye. It's kind of blinking a little too much. Kind of, uh, I don't know, man. He can't open up that right eye too much. But let's see how he does here. You know, we always say this, that the, the oversized guy always does so well in these rumbles. But look who he's facing. It's Ric Flair coming out to a series of boos. Oh my gosh, we got Flair coming in, the Nature Boy. And let's see how the Nature Boy does, man. Holy cow, he was the 10th victory for The Undertaker way back in 2002. <laughs> Look at this guy. Doesn't matter if you're old. Doesn't matter if you're past your prime. You got the... The experience that's always in that brain to help you through it and that's what the nature boy has right here this is an older version of rick flair but that doesn't matter man this guy's gonna come out give it his all showcase that beautiful he's technical wrestling but um he holy smokes he's gonna be dealing with WWE. one of the toughest opponents here in death valley in the giant giant gonzalez himself <laughs> Let's see what happens. Thank you all for being here. Holy cow. And by the way, I'm not controlling anybody, man. We're going to see how things are going to rock and rumble. And already, Flair getting tossed. And oh no, a shot to the bread basket. And just to let you guys know, man, the bread basket is the stomach. The Hulkamaniacs is the crowd jewels, baby. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, nice headbutt by Giant Gonzalez. Giant Gonzalez, look at this, using his leverage, using that size and strength to really stifle poor Flair here. And who's coming in now at three? Jimmy Snuka. And Superfly Jimmy Snuka way back in 1991 was The Undertaker's first victory at WrestleMania. And let's see how Snuka does. Oh, going with the right hand. Oh, nice. And then climbing the ladder, stifling the offense of Giant Gonzalez. Now it looks like... Holy cow, looks like a triangle choke, man. Wrapping those legs around Giant Gonzalez. He's got to keep him down. How about this? A monstrous scoop slam and an elbow. What a great start for Snuka. Let's see what happens. Who's coming in now at four? Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns coming in at four. And Roman Reigns was uh, the second guy to give The Undertaker 
a loss at WrestleMania. Holy smokes, the first guy was Brock Lesnar. And let's see how he does. Roman Reigns, is he going to get eliminated right away? And remember, Roman Reigns in this game is a 95 overall. Holy cow, man. Can't get any better than that. And is he going to get eliminated by the big guy? I'm going to totally lose my mind if he's going to get eliminated right away. Oh, nice job surviving. Beautiful job surviving. Here we go. Randy Orton. Randy Orton coming in at number five. Let's see how Orton does. As Orton now going right after Snuka. Snuka didn't like it. Oh, nice job by Snuka. Uh, that's what Snuka needs to do, man. He needs to use his athletic abilities, his speed, his agility. There he goes with the drop kick. Roman Reigns doesn't have a dance partner. Saluting the fans, and then he ate a drop kick by Snuka on another one. Oh, man. Snuka's doing some pretty good things early. Flair is having a tough time here. Oh, and here comes Kane. And I got to tell you, there's going to be two Kanes in here. There's going to be the uh, long hair Kane. Yes, the long hair Kane. And then the shaved head Kane coming in. And as you all know from the intro, Paul Bearer will be inside this Rumble. I don't know when he's coming in. But Paul Bearer did have a feud with The Undertaker at the end. Um, holy cow, man. He ended up siding with Mankind instead of Taker and then <laughs> tried to rid the WWF of the dead men by showcasing Kane. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Paul Bear will be in here at some point. Here comes the A-Train. The A-Train coming in. We haven't seen an elimination yet. We have not seen an elimination as the A-Train, the big guy. And remember, he teamed up with the Big Show in a handicap match and still lost. And he's going right after the Giant Gonzalez. I keep on calling calling him the Giant Gonzalez, but it's just Giant Gonzalez. Oh, oh, oh. beautiful kick by Kane. Look at A-Train. Wow, taking out the big man. You got Roman Reigns. I like that matchup. Roman Reigns and Randy Orton fighting it out. We got Batista. And what we're going to see here is a, a young man, Batista, with a full head of hair coming in. Let's see how Batista does. Wow, he was the 15th victory for The Undertaker, and he's going right after Gonzalez. Everybody's kind of getting a piece of Gonzalez here. Roman Reigns and A-Train slugging it out. How about Roman Reigns locking up, looking for a suplex. There he goes to stifle that offensive attack. Oh, nice, right into a slam. Beautiful transition by Roman Reigns. And now look at Orton. Is he going to take him out here? This will be big. Orton sizing him up. Orton eliminates the A-Train. And there goes Flair as I was looking right. Holy cow. Flair up the middle gets eliminated. And that's two quick eliminations. Oh, man. How about Batista, man? Batista's a big boy, but he's getting, uh, you know, totally uh, <laughs> overpowered by Jai Gonzalez. Snuka is looking stunned. Orton with a nice right hand. How about this? Giant Gonzalez and Kane. Oh, nice atomic drop. <laughs> oh, man. A nice right hand by Batista. You got to be careful, man. Roman Reigns is a huge player in this game, man. He is going to be there right to the bitter end, in my opinion. And now he's locked up. Batista, who's coming in now? Let's see what happens, people. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. It's Boss Man. And here comes the big Boss Man. Man, he had a Hell in the Cell match back in 99 against The Undertaker. You know how that went. Oh, man. The Undertaker's uh, run of 21 straight victories was amazing, man. The buildup every year, I'm like, it's never going to be broken. It's never going to be broken. And then that one year, Brock Lesnar broke the hearts of all of us and broke the streak, man. It would have been nice if he would have just kept a big donut in the loss column forever. It would have been nice. But here we go. Doesn't matter, you gotta move on. How about this, Roman Reigns could be in trouble. Snuka doesn't get it. Here comes CM Punk. CM Punk coming in at a cool number 10. And let's see how Punk does. He was the 21st uh, victory for The Undertaker. Wait, who got eliminated? Roman Reigns, I was looking the wrong way. All these things happen. I gotta start <laughs> keying in on the whole screen. I'm like really close to my screen right now. And sometimes I miss things and Roman Reigns is out. Are we gonna see a double elimination? You got Kane, you got CM Punk hanging on for dear life. Oh, Punk holds on to the bottom rope. Oh no, oh, what a move by Stucka. 
eliminates Kane. Unbelievable job by Superfly Jimmy Snuka. And let's see what Snuka does here again. That drop kick can't be stopped. This is just too nuts, man. It can't be stopped. Oh, speaking of can't be stopped, the strength of Snuka is something unmatched. There goes Orton. And somebody else is eliminated. It's the boss man. And here comes Bray Wyatt coming in at 11. A lot of action already in this rumble. And let's see what Bray can do. Unbelievable. And this is uh, Bray, man. He um, fought The Undertaker right after The Undertaker lost the previous year to Brock Lesnar. And let's see how Bray does, man. He's got a whole history of wrestlers in his, uh, holy cow, his family tree, man. It's unbelievable. Go search it up. <laughs> I don't want to miss the action here. But here comes AJ Styles. Are we going to see Batista? Batista could be in trouble. Oh, no. No. Bray Wyatt and Gonzalez teaming up. And is Batista going to get sent packing? He does. <laughs> How about this? Giant Gonzalez. This may be one of the best one performances we've seen in quite some time. Coming in at one. Eliminating guys. Dishing out some crazy damage. Uh oh. Am I going to jinx him? Am I going to jinx him? Oh, Snuka trips over his own feet and then goes for a drop kick. Nice recovery though by Gonzalez. Here comes King Kong Bundy at 13. King Kong Bundy coming in at 13. Fought The Undertaker back in 1995. And look at this, he's going right after CM Punk. Is he gonna eliminate Punk right away? This will be absolutely nuts. Oh, Punk, nice job by CM Punk. Now remember, you know, CM Punk inside the squared circle is a living legend, but he's a jobber inside the UFC octagon. <laughs> well, that's a topic for another conversation. But right now he's a superstar in the ring, trying to take out big Kid Kong Bundy. Nice, here comes Shane McMahon. And, uh, holy cow. Wait, who just got eliminated? Snook is done! Oh my gosh! Oh man, I keep on missing it. This is just way too nuts. But Shane McMahon decided to face The Undertaker way back in 2016, man. And let's see how he could do here, going right after the big fish and Giant Gonzales. And Giant Gonzales didn't like it. And he just throws him around, ragdolls him. And how about this? How about this? AJ Styles and Bray Wyatt. Fighting it out here. Are right, we gonna see an early exit? Here comes Stone Cold. And this is one of the guys, you know, Stone Cold and The Undertaker didn't face each other at WrestleMania, but they did have some crazy matchups, crazy feuds, so I had to put the rattlesnake in there. <laughs> and let's see how he does. Oh man, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Let's see how he does. He's coming in. Um, you gotta say it's fairly early. Oh wow, beautiful job by AJ Styles, it's fairly early, so he's gotta be so careful, pick a spot, speaking of picking a spot, oh no, Shane is gonna pick a spot in the front row, here comes Diesel, Shane McMahon's out, what a job by Bundy, what a job by King Kong Bundy, don't call him out, and uh, he's getting ambushed here, he's getting ambushed there by Stone Cold, and Stone Cold don't run at him, oh, who cares? <laughs> What a great job by Stone Cold, eliminating King Kong Bundy. And now he's going right after CM Punk. CM Punk may be busted open. AJ Styles going after, oh, he wasn't going after uh, Giant Gonzalez. He left him. And now Diesel, Big Daddy Diesel's going after him. And let's see what happens here, man. Let's see if Giant Gonzalez could just gain some strength here as Br Bray Wyatt may be out, he's out. Why it is done. Oh, what a move by Diesel. Oh, this is nuts. And the right hand by Diesel. And here comes Hulk Hogan. And some people may say that Hulk Hogan and The Undertaker had one of the best feuds um, back in uh, the 90s, you know? Holy cow. And Hogan is in here. Remember in season one of the Rumbles, Hulk Hogan punched his ticket to the Champions Rumble. He's yet to punch his ticket here in season two. So let's see how he does now, man. This is his chance. He's had some opportunities. And let's see what happens here. A CM Punk picking up the big man. Hogan's denying it though with the elbows. Here comes Mankind. Oh man, and the feuds with 
Mankind and The Undertaker were spectacular. I'll never forget when Mankind got thrown from the top of the cage. Holy cow. Oh, man. I can't believe he survived that. But that was some um, must-see TV. And let's see what he could do here. As Giant Gonzalez using that booty to stifle Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Stone Cold could be in some trouble. How about Giant Gonzalez grabbing the neck of Stone Cold. And he's throwing him out. Unbelievable. And here comes Shawn Michaels. In my opinion, man, the Shawn Michaels Undertaker battles at WrestleMania were the best. Man, Michaels Undertaker 1 was my favorite. Oh, AJ Styles is out. And here we go. Wow. Oh, Hogan could be in some trouble here. But CM Punk doesn't really have that upper body strength. Not known for that. You got to think advantage Hogan. Yeah, and then Hogan just dropped him over. And how about Hogan go over, go, going over that top rope? Here we go. Now Hogan retaliating. You got Michaels. Wow. He's like a foot and a half smaller than Giant Gonzalez using his boxing skills and his kicking skills. Now he's going after the Hulkster. And you got Mankind and Diesel. Are we going to see Hogan out of there? Hogan surviving. Oh, good recovery. Here comes Mark Henry at 20. Big Mark Henry coming in. And Mark Henry, in my opinion, is the perfect build for a Royal Rumble entry just because of his size and strength. Even his athleticism is kind of uh, underrated. Oh, Mankind's still in there. Oh, look at this. Wow, nice reversal by the Hulkster on Mark Henry. And here we go. We got CM Punk and Michaels. Wow, oh, great move by Punk. Oh, Michaels reversing it. Nice job by Michaels. Diesel is hurt. Here comes the second cane. <laughs> here comes the second cane with no hair. And I had to kind of edit this cane here. This is an older cane. Coming in, let's see how he does. Wow, Hulkster showcasing that strength. Eliminating Mark Henry. And now Hogan's hulking up here. Look at him. He's kind of hulking up. And who's he going after? No, he's deciding to pose. What a good splash there by Mankind on Giant Gonzalez, who is still inside this rumble, but barely hanging on. He could be in some trouble into the corner. Oh, good. Good job with that elbow. Just momentarily stifling the attack of Mankind. And now he's got the tables have been turned and now he's putting the pressure on mankind could mankind be out of it here could he get eliminated oh a right hand and he's done wow giant gonzalez finding that what do you i can't say second win it's got to be that fifth win baby he is doing fantastic and now triple h at 22 wow giant gonzalez at one, still in there with the 22nd entry entering the ring. <laughs> and look at Triple H, man. He's got a lot of uh, oil on that hair. It's just glistening. And look at, speaking of glistening, Hulk Hogan is in a full lather, but he's in some trouble here. SCM Punk trying. <laughs> look at his head, man, with all of his might. But Hogan's like, dude, I'm in a different weight class. You're not going to eliminate me doing that. And Hulkster. And now running away from Punk, deciding to go after Diesel. <laughs> and that was a great attack there. And how about Punk? Oh, with the knee. Here comes Big Show at 23. That was a vicious move by CM Punk on Kane. Hoisting him up. Is he going to do it again? Look at this. And then a knee right to the kisser. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How's Kane standing up here? And here we go. Big Show and CM Punk. Look at the strength by Kane. Unbelievable. This is just too crazy, man. And Hogan in traffic is just trying to fire up the crowd, man. He doesn't care about his opponents around him. This is just absolutely crazy action here. Oh, man. And look at this. Shawn Michaels. Oh, I was going to say Shawn Michaels was thinking about trying to attempt to eliminate Giant Gonzalez. And now Giant Gonzalez busted open decides to throw Shawn Michaels down to the mat here. How about the strength of CM Punk? That move should be illegal. Oh, a knee right to the right to the nose there. And now Hogan looks to be in a heap of trouble here. Hogan looks to be in some trouble and CM Punk using that cardio. Man, advantage cardio for CM Punk. Oh man, and 
Hulk Hogan just doesn't like the pace of this matchup. Speaking of matchup, how about this? Are we going to see Diesel? Nice elbow. And now, oh, look at this. Is he going to hoist him over? Oh, I thought he was going to hoist him over there. Oh, no, there goes Giant Gonzalez. A heroic effort by the number one entry. And you got to tell me, man, that he deserves all the accolades, man, <laughs> for that a performance. One of the best performances we've seen. Oh, so far, but we got to move on. You got the feud between CM Punk and Hulk Hogan. How about this when friends become foes? Shawn Michaels and Diesel battling it out. And we have um, some already some winners that have already punched their ticket to the Season 2 Champions Rumble. Um, Shawn Michaels has already won. Oh, there goes Diesel. Um, the boss man already won. And um, I, I think there's somebody else, man. I'm in a mind blank right here. Oh, Ric Flair, but... He already got eliminated. <laughs> but um, yeah, this, this is great, man. Just seeing all these guys in here. In Death Valley ring. Death Valley arena. Here comes Brock Lesnar. 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 And I decided to go with uh, the Lesnar model that's in this game. Oh, no. There goes Hogan. CM Punk wins the battle. I went with the uh, Brock Lesnar that's the original model in this game just because it's so beautiful. So, um, yeah, that's why you see... Kind of like an older Brock Lesnar, but it's perfect. And now he's going after Michaels. But Michaels with the elbow right to the stomach there, to the bread basket, like I say. And now I like what Michaels is doing. He's trying to shy away from Brock. Do you see that? He knows he's at a disadvantage. Oh, man, but Kane giving it to him. Here comes John Cena at 25. John Cena coming in at 25. And let's see how Cena does. You know he's... Super strong, man. Oh, speaking of strong, CM Punk showcasing some strength here. Eliminated Hogan, and there goes Michaels. How great has CM Punk been inside this Royal Rumble here? And now what is he doing? Oh, he is just showcasing all the tricks in his toolkit. And now he's going with the knee to the lower back. Tried three times. Oh, the Big Show didn't like it. Here comes Psycho Sid. And uh, if you notice on the top right there, I think that's a typo because I remember Psycho Sid's name was S-Y, even though Psycho is spelt P-S. But um, anyway, <laughs> it starts with a P. Is he going to get eliminated right away? What is this? How is this happening? Dude! Triple H! Sid Justice is rated over a 90. And oh, Triple H is cleaning house. He's now eliminated Big Show. The greased up Triple H is just putting on a great little performance here. And here comes Yokozuna. Wow, Yokozuna coming in at 27. And Yokozuna, oh man. Yokozuna and The Undertaker had some amazing battles, man. The casket match in 1994. So, you know, you had to put this guy in. And let's see how Yokozuna does here. Oh, and he's going right after John Cena. And let's see here. Oh, and now he's going after Kane. This is crazy here. This is crazy going after Kane. Nice right hand by Brock Lesnar. Here comes Paul Bearer at 28. <laughs> and you know me, man. I had to put in Paul Bearer coming in at 28. This guy is um, the lowest rated wrestler in this game at a 30, man. That's the lowest you can make somebody at a 30. Oh, no. There goes Cena. Oh, no, but nice move by CM Punk. Brock Lesnar was kind of admiring his handiwork there. And, uh, man, he really paid for it. Wow, John Cena is out. And who's coming in now? What number are we at? What number are we at here? A CM Punk. Here comes Edge, my fellow Toronto, Ontario, Canada native. Coming in. Edge and I are both from Toronto, by the way, if you didn't know. And here we go. Are we going to see... Triple H, no, Triple H. Everybody's forgetting about Triple H here. He's exhausted. There's a moment for somebody to eliminate him. Speaking of elimination, are we going to see Yokozuna? No, not eliminated, but he gets choke slammed by Kane. And now Kane's going after Edge, allowing Yokozuna to just recover here. And here we go. Who is coming in now? Who is coming in now? It's Jake the Snake. <laughs> Jake the Snake Roberts. Face the Undertaker back in what 1992. There goes Edge. No, there goes Edge. 
Oh, that is heartbreaking. And yeah, oh, look at this. Wireless controller is low. Oh, no. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not controlling anybody. Oh, no, there goes Paul Bear. There goes Paul Bear. And how about this, Brock Lesnar? Wow, he looks invincible. Not reacting to any of the chops by Yokozuna. But Paul Bear scratching his head like, how did I get eliminated? This is an absolute travesty. Nice head movement there by Yokozuna. And Yokozuna can move, man. I gotta say, him and Earthquake are the, the big boys that just move so quickly, man. Wow, look at this. Look at this move. Brock Lesnar. Oh! <laughs> Yokozuna could be in some trouble, but what's Brock doing? Brock deciding to go after CM Punk. This could be an epic mistake. Allowing Yokozuna to recover. And now Yokozuna is mounting the offense. Nice scoop slam there. And now a kick to the face. And another one. Wow. And now Brock Lesnar is probably really, you know, kind of thinking twice about what he just did there. Because now he's in a heap of trouble. And Yokozuna is all on him. How about this matchup too on the right side of our screen? You got Jake the Snake and Triple H. Are we going to see... Kane eliminated, no. Oh, nice. Good job, I was gonna say. Great elbow there. And now he's going after Yokozuna. Big boot to the face, oh no. CM Punk, oh, CM Punk got saved by Triple H. Wow, but Brock with a great reversal. Looks like Jake the Snake is a little dazed here, but now he's coming to his senses, trying to eliminate CM Punk, who's been putting together an unreal performance. Is he out of there? Oh, he hangs on. He hangs on, but Jake trying to get him out. You know, he went over the top rope. Now he's trying to just shove him out. Doesn't get it. And Jake the Snake, smart, deciding to back away, then goes for a kick and a big shot to the back of the head there. And now, oh, nice job by CM Punk. Are we going to see Brock Lesnar out? Brock Lesnar is done. Triple H. And now is he going to eliminate? How many eliminations is Triple H going to have here? He eliminates Yokozuna. Holy smokes. Triple H is on fire. Oh, nice little spine buster there by Kane. And now we got the final four. Triple H, Kane, Jake the Snake, and CM Punk. Oh, and Jake the Snake, you got to say he's at a disadvantage here. Stat differential. You know, he's only like a, what, an 85, 86 overall. And uh, man, he's just, oh, he's gotten put to sleep. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, I've seen Jake the Snake mount an offense yet. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. Keep him in. Oh, at least he stayed in. At least he stayed in, but he's in trouble. He's got no power at all. No stamina. Oh, getting hoisted over and oh, wow. Surprisingly still stays in it. And you got CM Punk trying to eliminate the, uh, the Triple H here, not the Undertaker. Oh, what a move by Triple H! <laughs> that is clutch! And now, how about this? There goes Jake the Snake. And here we go. The finals. Kane, spine buster by Triple H. And here we go. Triple H and Kane in the final. Are we going to see a pedigree? He's going to land it. He lands it. And now it's his opportunity. This is his opportunity, man to do it you know he had two cracks at triple a uh, sorry at the undertaker and lost and it was back to back man in 2011 2012 and let's see if he could finally get a victory here oh nice nice little suplex and let's see this is the biggest stage <laughs> in the video game world for wrestling oh no oh no oh oh he's got to be careful Watch out, big power slam by Kane. Wow. And now the tables have been turned. Triple H looks to be in some trouble here. Oh, I can't be taking all of these shots. And now oh, getting that back stretched out. And look at the face on Kane, man. Kane looks to be a little bruised, battered, but not beaten, man. But he's busted up a bit. And now, whoa, oh, here he goes. Here's the signature boot to the face. And Triple H is absolutely stunned. He needs to come up with something here. And now Kane looking for the elimination. Here it is. Triple H trying to hang on for dear life. Kane may do it. Kane, he does it. 
<laughs> Kane gets the victory. Oh, man, here at Death Valley, is it only fitting that Kane wins this unbelievable showcase of skill, strength, and the perseverance to stay in that ring? And this man right here is going to the Champions Rumble Season 2, and he's going to be going up against all those other big boys that have won in the previous Rumbles. I cannot wait to see how this guy does. Holy smokes, that was crazy, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Can't wait to bring you more <laughs> crazy action. Man, that was way too much fun. Holy cow. But anyways, guys, I'll end off this video. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on this one. This is Ricky J, man. Have a great day. Take care. Peace.